This video is sponsored by Yabba. What's up my peoples, it's Mohammed here from Tekka Reviews back again with another video. And today I am super happy to announce my unboxing, testing and review of the Yabba V10 1080p Wi-Fi projector. Now I know there's loads of projectors out there on the market which range from affordable with decent specs all the way to top tier products with price tags over a thousand pounds. However, you'll be glad to know that the V10 comes with a whole bunch of awesome tech and features, all for a great and affordable price. But before we start unpacking and getting this bad boy set up, as always guys, if you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, then please feel free to hit that like button below and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date each time I release a new vid. Now without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Right, so first things first, let's check out the packaging. On front, you have the Yabba logo as well as an image and name of the device. On the side, you have some product features such as 1080p resolution, 4 point keystone correction and screen mirror which we will discuss later on. And finally, towards the back, you have an image again and name of the device. Once opened, the first thing you will see is a travel case, followed by the 1080p projector, one cleaning kit, user manual, HDMI cable, power cord, a 3-in-1 AV cable, and finally, one remote controller, which requires two AAA batteries. In regards to the product breakdown, the device weighs roughly around 2.2 kg and has a length of 26 centimeters. The material is made from a combination of plastic and metal, which feels pretty strong and sturdy. On front, you have the 1080p lens, as well as the Yabba logo and IR sensor. On the sides, you have air vents for ventilation. Towards the back, you have the power input and power switch, as well as one infrared sensor, two USB ports, one AV input, two HDMI ports, one audio input for headphones or soundbars, and finally one VGA input. The device also has built-in speakers as well. On top, you have the focus wheel and navigation buttons, including the power button, source and menu. And finally, towards the bottom, you have four screw holes to mount your projector. Now, when it comes to the remote controller, you have your standard navigation buttons, as well as source, power, volume controls, selection, and home buttons. Now, as previously mentioned, the remote does need two AAA batteries, which are not included inside. So just make sure you have some batteries laying around at home. The setup process is pretty straightforward. Start by inserting your power cord and then power the device using the main switch. The LED light should then appear. Next, hit the secondary power button on top and your image should then show. If you're mounting this to a wall or ceiling like I am, then just ensure that the projector is far back as possible and connected securely. If you have a projector screen available, then ensure that your screen is set up and ready to go. In my case, I'll be using the Luxburg 120 inch projector screen. However, if you have a white or light colored walls, then that should also work too. Now regarding the screen projection size, Yabba do recommend setting the screen to 120 inches for the best optimum output. However, the screen size does support up to 300 inches if you have a long enough room size distance to support that. For 120 inches, a distance of around 3 meters should do the trick. Unfortunately, in my case, I fell a little short, so instead, I have a screen size of 100 inches. And that's pretty much it, guys. When it comes to the user interface, the Yabba V10 UI is very easy to navigate through. Once the projector is loaded, you are presented with the following screen. On left, you have your different input channels, which include AV, VGA, HDMI 1 and HDMI 2. Next, you have iOS cast, which can mirror your iPhone screen, followed by mirror cast for Android devices, which we will be testing out later on. Below that, you have video, music, picture and office suite, which allows you to view files via connected USB. On the top right, you have a cog icon which navigates you to the settings page. Here you have a range of options including Wi-Fi settings, Bluetooth to connect your speakers or soundbar, keystone correction which allows you to zoom horizontally and vertically, as well as 4 point keystone correction. Next, you have the projection mode which allows you to adjust the projection. So for example, in my case where the projector is mounted upside down, I have the following option here selected on screen. You also have date and time settings as well as language options, other settings which include system information which I will show on screen, boot settings which allows you to boot from source, so for example if you have a fire stick connected to HDMI 1, the projector would then load this source straight away when powered, and finally a factory restore option. Last but not least, you have the upgrade settings which is done via USB input. Now for some testing, 
Okay, for this one guys, I'm going to see how the projector performs by conducting a number of use cases, which include picture quality, noise level, gaming, and much more. Now, when it comes to picture quality in a dark room late at night, the image you get from the Yabba V10 really is amazing, especially at 1080p. The colors shown here are super vibrant and came out a lot better than I originally expected. I noticed this more when watching films like Pacific Rim, where colors came out really good. During the daytime, with the curtains closed, the Yabba V10 is still very watchable and the picture quality during the day definitely is a pass for this test. However, with the curtains open and daylight coming in, the image quality does dip in this case and becomes harder to view. Don't get me wrong, you can still see the image and work out what's going on. However, at this point, the image is very dry and washed out in comparison to using this projector at night. Now, when it comes to fan noise, this projector is pretty loud guys, especially if you're sitting close by to the projector. When testing, the fan noise would reach around 50 decibels, which is pretty loud, but gets lower and lower as you move further away. It's definitely noticeable in the beginning, However, once you start getting into the movie, you notice it less and less. Okay, so next we have the iOS cast and mirror cast. Now, when using my iPhone, the process was super simple. I selected iOS cast on the projector and then connected my mobile phone once the projector was located. There isn't a huge input lag and does the job pretty well. The same can also be said for my Android device when connecting via mirror cast. Once Miracast was selected on the projector and located on my mobile phone, the input lag here too was very minimal and does the job as expected. When viewing files from USB, I had no problem at all playing 1080p files which loaded perfectly fine. However, when I tried loading my 4K files, I would get the following error shown here on screen. When doing some research online, I noticed that 4K 30fps videos would work successfully as well as MKV files which are 4K. So if you're having issues loading your 4K movies, just ensure that it supports one of the two options mentioned just now. The speakers on the projector are also pretty good and sound like this at max volume. So first things first, let's check out the packaging. On front, you have the iGeek logo. However, if you have speakers or a soundbar at hand, then I definitely recommend connecting this to the projector. In my case, I have this connected to my majority Bluetooth soundbar, which I purchased from Amazon. Now, I actually had an issue with this at first guys, as the soundbar was connected via Bluetooth to the projector, and there was a noticeable lag in sound when watching movies. However, this issue was easily fixed by connecting an audio cable from the projector all the way to the majority soundbar. Finally, when it comes to gaming, I was seriously impressed with the Yabba V10. When connected to my next-gen PS5 console, I initially thought there was going to be huge input lags when playing FPS games, racing and games like FIFA. However, surprisingly, the projector did really well and exceeded my expectations. FPS games don't feel crazy delayed. However, if you are looking to play online or competitively, then I probably won't recommend this as you have 1 millisecond response time TVs and monitors out there with crazy refresh rates that the projector won't be able to compete with. Speaking of specs, when connected to the projector, I get a max resolution of 1080p at 60fps, which I guess is okay, purely because I know the PS5 can support 4K at 120fps on some projectors I've seen online, however that's more for the top tier projectors which we won't be covering. Racing games look awesome, and games like GTA feel great on 100 inches. Finally, when it comes to FIFA, the image on screen looks great and awesome when gaming on a bigger screen. Now in this section, I'm just going to test out a few games on screen, just to see how the projector holds up when playing different games and genres.
In regards to their technical specifications, the device has a bunch of features which include a 120,000 hour lifespan which can last many years as well as 2.4 and 5G Wi-Fi support. The V10 also has 5.1 bi-directional Bluetooth and 8500 lumens which can support both 1080p and 4K playback. Finally, the projector has a 10,000 to 1 contrast ratio to deliver clear and vivid colours and 10 watt speakers built inside. Overall, is this projector any good and really worth purchasing? Well, the answer is 100% yes. At first, my expectations to begin with were pretty low as I presumed that only the top tier projectors would deliver the image quality I was looking for and provide the gaming support I needed. However, after using the Yabba V10, I can honestly say that this budget friendly projector really did impress and delivered way more than I expected. The 1080p and 4K support is awesome and the user interface is very easy to navigate through. Next gen gaming on this projector is also great and the 120,000 hour lifespan support is greatly appreciated. Connected devices like Fire Sticks also work perfectly well, although it would have been nice to see a more updated Android UI which allows users to download apps directly to the projector. However, drawbacks aside, the Yabba V10 comes highly recommended and is a device you should definitely look into. In regards to pricing, you can pick up the Yabba V10 from Amazon for around £180 and you can find a link to purchase in the description below. But that's all from me guys, what are your thoughts on projectors or do you prefer to stick with TV setups instead? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm Mohammed from Tekka Reviews and I'll see you all in the next video.